She healed within a month, considering she was supposed to lose her leg. A supportive housing program dedicated to its furriest tenants. Atira has a new pet coordinator, which it says is a first-of-its-kind position in Vancouver to help with everything from basic training and supplies to grooming and medical care. <laughs> <laughs> One of Atira's tenants is Harlow, who you'd never guess almost lost her leg by the way she's running around Crab Park with owner Sydney Leper. It's been months since the three-year-old Alaskan Malamute landed on a mirror in their building, which split the dog's leg open. She was rushed in for emergency care. It was 2000, and I literally used my whole entire check. I had dumped all my rent money. I had that mentality where it was like my place for my dog, and obviously my dog came first to me. But the bills didn't end there. Hollow's aftercare was also expensive. She needed antibiotics and bandages changed regularly. Pet coordinator Jesse Smith started changing Harlow's bandages twice a week. She says the biggest barrier for people is vet care, and she's often working to connect pet owners with programs at the Vancouver Humane Society and community vet outreach. People are really good about taking care of their own pets, um, but sometimes it is hard for folks to um, access services that are already available within the community. It's just kind of sometimes paperwork's hard, sometimes having an internet connection or a phone is hard. The program is paid for entirely through Atira donations. There you go. Oh. Sydney says Harlow came to her at the perfect time. She was on a wait list for a husky rescue group and had just left a home where a roommate recently overdosed. A traumatic experience. But uh, because of what I saw and what I had to go through, she came like literally not even a week after, right? She came at that time where it was absolutely most needed. And it seems Leper is also a good match for Harlow too. The rescue wanted someone to help with Harlow's separation anxiety. They asked me that, like, you know, can you have her 24 hours a day? Like they, they cross-referenced my job, like they went through all of that. A lot of the pets down here have really great lives. Like how often do you get to see pets that are with their owners the majority of the day? I think there is a huge misconception about um, income levels and pet care that is really unfortunate. In Vancouver, Crystal Ladaris, City News.